Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the Global Voice for the year 2022. With Royal Caribbean football encounter around the world, today we have with us the captain of the first eleven football team, St. Thomas' College of Virginia, Mike Pereira. Thank you, Mike, for joining us. So, tell me, Mike, how does it feel like to be the captain of the first eleven football team at a prestigious school like St. Thomas? I'm truly honored and grateful to be captain of St. Thomas College of Virginia. It's an honestly amazing experience because college gives you so much in terms of sports. I had so much of it and it has really helped me strengthen the performance, which is great to be a captain. Overall, I know I've learned a lot of it, but so far, it's been a great experience. So tell me, Mike, how has the coaching staff supported you in developing your skills and abilities as a soccer player throughout the season? The coaching staff has been great. Even if you have a strong team, that's pointless if the coaching staff isn't great, strong too. Priyankar sir and Sunil sir have so much experience. They have helped me develop my own skills, both as my individual play, as player as a captain. The team wouldn't be where they are without the coaching staff. So, my, walk me through how the support from college and the old boys been like throughout the season with many challenges posted upon the team. Honestly, I have to give a lot of credit to our bonds, sub bonds, our DOCs, our POG, and our MICs, and the school for being the main source of support for us. The team has always had everything we need to succeed, and we always get guidance as well, which I really value. In terms of the wall boys, I love seeing them cheer for us in matches along with the rest of the school boys. Due to the current crisis situation in, in the country, I'm sure practices have been quite different to what it has been in the past. So, Mike, walk me through how practices have been like throughout these challenging times. These times have been understandably difficult for everyone. So, it hasn't been the easiest for me and the team either. Being able to physically practice and train together with the whole squad has been challenging, but it, had, it was a dedication of the team which helped us through it. Everyone put in a lot of effort and made practices productive and worthwhile. The first eleven football team has been having a very successful run this season after winning the Trinity Tomian football encounter as well as emerging as the zonal champions for this year. So tell me, Mike, how has the confidence level of the team been like after these victories? Confidence has definitely gone up after all the wins and good performances. The team is performing at a re really good level that I'm very happy with. But we are trying not to be too overconfident and just play the next matches with a good strengthening and clear minds. Even amidst the many successes that the team has gone through this season, I'm sure it's very important that all players perform very well at the encounter. So tell me, Mike, who are the players that you are looking at, the key players who might play a crucial role at this encounter? I can't pick out uh, anyone specific player who would make or break the team. This is the first time a lot of juniors are playing, so we have a young side. I think the whole team has important individual roles to play if we are to win. So, Mahit, walk me through the differences between the Royal Thumian encounter and an ordinary soccer game. Any sportsman who has played for a Royal Thumian encounter knows that it's not, a, not an ordinary game. The whole atmosphere before and during the game is much more intense. There is also a lot of more pressure on the teams. I am so nervous, they will be a bit high, but at the end of the day, it's simply another game, so the goal is to win. Finally, Mike, walk me through how the team is approaching this year's Royal Tumin encounter and what are your objectives moving into the encounter? I don't want to reveal the strategy we have planned for this match, but we have worked very hard, both coaching staff and the players. To be successful at the match, the goal at the end of the day is to win and play a good game of football. Like my father Mark says, play hard, play fair, play strong. Going a bit out of context, right? as a very successful sportsman who plays four sports for college and has represented college at the highest level, what would be your message to the young Thomians out there who are dreaming to play for college one day? I think there are many things and people who have helped me get where I am right now. You definitely need to be disciplined and be willing to work hard. 
I have learned that no one's going to hand success to you. It's not e- that easy. So you need to willing to be put the in the effort and make success happen for yourself. And that concludes today's interview. Thank you very much, Mahit, for joining with us with your busy schedule. And we would like to wish your team the best of luck for the upcoming Royal Tourmalet Football Encounter. And we would like to urge all you spectators out there to come and support the Tourmalet team uh, on Saturday. And finally, I would like to thank all our viewers for tuning with us. And I would like to invite you to stay tuned for many updates in the future of the Tourmalet Voice. I'm Kevin the Pitidur Kamagi, signing off on behalf of the media unit and the ICT Society of St. Thomas' College, North Korea.